welcome everybody to Crusader Kings 3 starring your best flying boy himself Duke Clam Seaman of the mighty Seamanian oh I, that's I guess that's how you pronounce it right Seamanian uh that sounds a lot better that way I can avoid YouTube constantly clapping me for saying a dirty word Seamanian uh religion whereby we are doing a thing that I've completely forgot why are our, are our holy sites just uh based on our old religion then oh interesting I guess they probably would be, seeing as we are an organized Buddhist faith. Anyway, here we are, um, back with this big man himself. So you might remember at the end of yesterday, or like middle through yesterday, in fact, um, he got a notification because we have the perk that said within five years or whatever it was, he's going to drop down dead, or within a year, he's going to drop down dead. So anytime now, he's going to drop down dead, um, which is a bit of a problem because we've got two duchies and no kingdom level title. We could destroy a duchy title, right? We could. Ooh. Um, oh, but of course, with partition, new titles are created if one does not exist. I have a feeling, essentially, we're going to lose everything. Um, is there any way we can we can avoid that? If, if we destroy... If we destroy a duchy and then grant all of our titles to our heir preemptively, will that work? Um... No, they are under partition. Okay, so they've already thought about that. Under partition, we cannot. Um, fair enough. So, basically, we're going to probably split the realm in half. Uh, with, with half of it, obviously, going to the Duchy of Sri Ketstra. And the other one going to our mighty Seaman Duchy. Um, and it's equal as well. Don't forget, we changed the gender rule to, to equal so that we could end up, hopefully, playing as Bofa. Um, Bofa Seaman, who is a genius, pretty, robust... Um, a physician, but also apparently gluttonous and deceitful, which are, oh shit, simple? Balls. Well, she's not going to be the best character, but that's okay, because eventually we get to play as, like, her kids, and uh, they'll be much better, I promise you. Um, right, okay, uh, how the hell are we going to avoid this, then? We, we would need to very, very quickly, and I'm talking, at, at, like, within four months, we've somehow got to get independence and form our own kingdom. Do we even have the necessary rounds to form our own kingdom? Um... No, we need three or more duchies, or we need a round size over double what we own right now. So the only way we can really become a king within our domain, within our realm, I should say, is by usurping the kingdom of Pagan, um, or, or recreating it for ourselves. Balls, so this is a slight problem, isn't it? Um, Vate Wuna can marry. I don't know why we're told about that. I really don't care. Who are you? Um, oh, my granddaughter. Sorry, I, I remember you. Um, that's not going to give us alliance, though, right? That's not going to give us alliance if we marry off our granddaughter who's not even our dynasty? Okay, I'll, I'll marry you off for, for whatever alliance we can get then, to be honest. Let's take a look very, very quickly. Um, right, wh where are you? You're you're there, not interested. Where are you? Um, right up there, not interested. We want to conquer these guys, not ally ourselves to them. It's all within our bloody realm. Um, useless. Okay, sod it. Forget about it. I'll just marry her off to anybody. Here. Yeah. Um... Uh, you, uh, oh no, no, we don't want to, we don't want to make allies that I'm going to go to war with. Um, let's go for inheritable traits. Sorry, let's go matrilineal. No, let's not go matrilineal. She's not our family member. Uh, yeah, you, done. Right, boom, problem solved. Not my concern, thank you. Can assert the Candace Duchy? I suppose there's no downside to doing that. Um, yikes. And we got 30, minus 34 gold down, so we can't do anything until that debt's paid off just to start off with here. Um, come on, a payment from Count Anglerfish. Three gold. That's something. Hey, we, we might be able to get independent. So, so Alva we're no longer allied to. That was quite a big problem last time. Oh, no, we are allied to. I don't know why they're not showing up as allies. Oh, there we are. Um, are you guys, you guys were not allied to, but you're allied to Ava and Hanlon. So, their military strength is similar to ours. So, we're going to have to be very careful about that. But we don't, we're not going to have much gold. And we can't exactly fall back on mercenaries. Um, shit. We gain the trait herbalist. Fine, I'll take it. And we got a martial lifestyle perk, and we can become a witch. Apparently, they fixed witches now, um, so they actually work as intended, which is quite nice. So, hang on, we got herbalist, which gives a medium health boost, um, but that is disease resistance, so that's kind of irrelevant. We're also a mystic. We're an eager reveler. We're a diplomat, and we're whole of body. Wow, that's quite cool. Look at that. This guy has so many different kind of lifestyle perks, huh? Crazy. Okay, um, and we have a dangerous faction. Oh God. Vassals, vassals, vassals. Um, I, I kind of want them to just rebel so we can deal with it. Why are you part of the faction, you shit? Uh, befriend, quickly. Um, what about you? It's gotta be a way we can, we can take this apart. Um, what if I send you a gift? Uh, we can't obviously afford that. Shit. 
Um, I can't believe this guy with plus 86 opinion has joined a faction against us. Unless he's been forced into it. Well, we'll see how it goes. I think we're going to be thrust into war any second now. Ah, there it is. Um, this guy's got 100 opinion of us. Um, I will not be threatened. Oh, God. I, I'm very threatened by that, actually. That's a lot of dudes. Well, let's go ahead and reinforce at Waterworld. We do have our elephants. Friend of mine, what I talked about yesterday, I think a lot of the reason why factions are going to be able to fire is because we have elephants. And, of course, the game just takes numbers into account rather than rather than anything else, unfortunately. Um, thank you. Let's hope for better times. I agree. Ooh. The Heartland. In my dreams, I traveled to a seemingly gorgeous pastoral land. It's filled with meadows with greenest grass, peaceful, quiet forests, and screams. Um, good God. What does all this do? Health, medium boost. That's nice. Um, I think I might take that, actually. Hamlet under attack. Stress gain and stress loss, 2020. This is for three years as well. Medium health boost for three years. That might keep us alive. I don't know how the, how the mechanics work in that regard. Whether or not health... Changes are taken into account like that. Right, let's kill as many of these as possible before they before they unify. I think that's essential. Because they, they definitely outnumber us. Well, obviously they don't anymore, but they did at the time. And let's go and put these guys down. And then I'm pretty sure this wall's in the bag, right? Um I'm pressing coming to the county of cat. We can't afford it, especially not when we're actively losing off being a bloody war again. 44%. Right, okay. Um Who's the leader of the rebellion? Exactly. Um specifically you. Right, I'm sorry, my friend, but your capital's gonna get absolutely clapitled. What a shame. Like, a vassal that loved us, uh, with plus 100 opinion, that's that's a vassal you want. And even then, they're going to bloody war. Um, Count Saw Lu became my friend. Uh, okay. Reconcile the two vassals, potentially gain 150 prestige and lose 49 stress. Go on. Hey, there we are. Increased our diplomacy as well, so we got a nice permanent bonus out of that. Oh, God, this is gonna be close. Um, how long till that siege is going around? 18 days. Oh, no. Chances are even. In 10 days. There's 14 days left. Oh, you son of a bitch. Um, okay, okay, okay. Raise our armies. Reinforce, reinforce. The, the chances are even anyway, so if we get some reinforcements in there, we may just pull it through. Um, brother and sister, the players performed by me and my court. The, has one of them interesting and dramatic stories. It involves relations between a brother and a sister who did not r realize they were related and fall in love. It's a sad tale full of twists and turns. Everybody agrees it was a riveting performance. Um, disgusting. We are not here to watch that kind of perversion. He looks pretty pleased with the situation. You filthy old man. Diplomacy plus one and piety. Um, didn't like the play entry plus one general opinion minus five. I'm sure we'll go for more diplomacy. Why not? Because, you know, we're doing a really great job of keeping the vassals happy. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Are we looking now? Oh, now we've got to keep the siege going. Brilliant. I assume that... There we go. Right. Good shit. I almost don't want to take the land off that guy because he is... Oh, we've got a dynasty legacy available. Um, He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy and people respect him, damn it. Um, Let's check it out. Uh, let's, let's take a look very quickly in our prison. Um, he's still got 100 opinion of us despite the fact that we've banged him up. Um, If we release him... He lost the war anyway, right? So he lost his claim on the duchy. No, he's still got it. Um, negotiate a, a, a release to renounce your claims. He will accept that. Kick him out. 92 opinion, and we've dealt with the issue. So we've got a vassal that loves us, and there's no chance of him rebelling again. I think that's reasonable. Um, you, I'm going to ransom out, and you, I'm also going to ransom out, if you don't mind. It's another 80 gold. <gasps> know thyself close to the end. Oh, we got it again. So I guess where we got the health bonus, it gave us some extra time and reset it. Right, okay, so we've got a year from now to try and somehow, uh, throw some feat of witchcraft. Oh, man, so we've got an alliance with this this guy, so we really can't do it. Um, if we went to war with our liege for our claims, the only problem is we don't have the ability to press multiple claims at once, do we? Fuck. Uh, yeah. Try an independence war again. Superior, no, they've got an ally. Yeah, they've got Palo as an ally. Oh, they've got these guys as well. To be fair, these guys aren't such a concern. It's Gujarat, right? I don't know. I don't know Indian kingdoms very well. I will, will admit. Um, but that's going to take a bloody ages to get over from from there. Uh, we could go for the risk. I mean, we kind of have to. Either that, or it's putting the round back together with the next character. Um, let's put you on warfare. Sod it. Oh, plus one. No, don't bother then. Go on, manage manage domain. Um, this is so frustrating. What about what about you then? Because I warn you, for my claims, they're inferior. Right. We can't, though, because we have to use a hook on our 
king because everybody said that he is uh, kind of big coming on our last episode was everybody saying that apparently the crown authority um, is determining the fact that we now can't go to war with other fellow vassals. Long story short, we're basically screwed here. Um, I think we should just I think we should just cut our losses and accept it. What do you think? Go on. Let's just accept that we... I, I don't think there's any way we can do it. We have to get a hook or we have to be able to go to war with our king um, who, who has... I mean, 10,000 men more than us, including allies. Um, we haven't got anyone else to marry out for alliances. I did try that very quickly. Um, yeah, I think we're in a bit of a weird place. So we're just gonna... Oh. No, I don't want her. Uh, don't even know who you are. We're just gonna... Just gonna let him go. The man has achieved a lot with his life. Let's be reasonable here. He reformed an entire religion. He has grabbed a, a shitload of land, which sure, will disappear temporarily, but we'll have claims on it all, which we can press very quickly. You know, it's duchy level claims, so it's one war to tidy it all back up again. Um, and to be honest, I, I, I think he's, he's made himself a legacy. Oh, speaking of legacy, actually, we've got the, um, we've got the duchy legacy, haven't we? Um, oh, sorry, the dynasty legacy. So I think... I actually looked up how the inheritance works, by the way, because it's actually far more complicated than I realized. So there's kind of inheritance... Uh, act, uh, what's the best way to describe it? I mean, the, the game code calls it active and inactive traits, but I guess a, a closer real-world analog would be, pass, uh, would, would be um, recessive and dominant traits. So essentially, for two parents who have the same trait, though it says the trait will be inherited, that doesn't mean that it will be inherited in an active way, which means that they actually have the trait. What it means is that it'll be inherited, but there's a 20% chance of it being passive. What that means is they won't have it themselves, but they also have a chance to pass it on to their kids. Less so than if someone obviously actively had the trait. Um, so basically the way it works is, uh, let's say we've got two people with intelligent, they marry, the game says it's guaranteed to be inherited, again, in, in either an, an active or inactive way. 40% chance for it to be for inheritance to be for sorry intelligent to be inherited from both parents um it's got a 40 percent chance to upgrade to genius and it's got a 20 percent chance to go passive um at which point they can potentially pass it on to their children so your the, the original two's grandkid basically but with noble veins it makes it so guaranteed traits are guaranteed active because it's 30 percent on top so i think we need to go for noble veins just because of maths um, and that's your biology lesson for today. Um, incredibly boring stuff. But I thought I'd better look it up, because we had this problem in the other series, in, in the Venice series, where basically we married two intelligent characters together, and their kid ended up being not intelligent. Despite the fact that the tooltip says it will be inherited, it doesn't mean that it's... Yeah, there's a background system. Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, but I thought I'd better explain it, because I, I only found out myself, um, the other day, and there was a load of misinformation being thrown around, so... We're dead! Excellent! That filled the time until they finally freaking died. Duke Killer Whale took your place as cultural head. Of course I know him. He's me. I don't know why it's telling us that we are the head of our... Yeah, I'm... Oh, that's us. Yeah, that is actually us. Brilliant. I don't know why it told us that, but that's fantastic. Um, what have you been... What have you been doing with your life then, Duke Killer Whale? 14 out of 27 on the Marshall Tree. So he's a strategist heading down Gallant. I quite like that. Um, we'll go for strategy then, seeing as we've got to put the round together. Our father was a diplomat. You know, he was, he was a theologian. He was a man who restored the religion, kept the round together. We are going to be the one to, to finish the friggin' job. We're going to do what our father could not. We've got our weak coin-counting brother, Anglerfish, sat there. No. Anglerfish, you're done for. Inferior. Absolutely he is. We can't. Oh, shit, really? Because of our bloody... Okay, hang on. Um... <laughs> okay, I will admit, this Crown Authority, massive pain in the ass. Really just huge pain in the ass here. Um... Yikes, these people are bad, aren't they? I don't know why it doesn't sort by the top. I know it sorts by vassals, like the most preferable person to, to have. Um, man, it's a bit of a ball ache, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Um, so, the simple thing. Now, let's get Sea Cucumber working in the capital. Let's get you collecting taxes. Right, build me up some uh, some war chest. I think that's fine. We lost all of those counties around the edge as well. Uh, we had, what, six out of seven domain size. Now we've got one, and that, of course, is just water world now. Um, you can convert faith. Actually, that's not a bad idea. We were fabricating claims, but of course we can't fabricate claims anyway. It's a bit pointless. Uh, well, even if we do get a claim, we can't do much with it. You go for chivalry. Let's double down on Marshall here. Um, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Unless we've got control that needs building up. I suppose there's a little bit there. Fine, why not? My father a sky burial. 250 prestige. Potentially a chance for this guy to 
reform the religion or add more to the religion anyway. Um, Pujit, you are a terrible host. A stinky host. Um, let's get to know Zani better. Go on then, why not? Uh, so... Obviously, we're in the kind of a weird place where loads of mods or, or, or Paradox is releasing a patch basically every other bloody day. Um, can I not just add new doctrines to the religion without making a whole new bloody religion? Because it's not really worth it just to throw in, like, one more... Oh my god, and it costs their last one as well. If we can end up playing as a character who we, we train as a theologian, right? And who spends their whole life working on piety... We could go for one other big reformation, but it's it's way too... We can't just add it doctrine by doctrine. That kind of isn't how it works. Um, I think let's forget about pilgrimages in holy sites with this guy. We'll do a character that focuses on the religion later on in the campaign when we've got a bit more power. Maybe when we've got a bit more holy sites as well. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to do, actually, I really should have not done that. I should have gone for truth is relative. Fabricate a hook scheme. Fabricate a hook in our lead so that we could have moved into that, but we'll swap over eventually. Um... 11.31, assuming this guy lives that long. Oh, wow. Military Engineer lets us play really fast and loose with uh, with how we can hopefully grab the kingdom. Even if they've got a lot of allies in, all we've got to do is really take their capital, kill their troops, and hope that we can do some sieging before their allies turn up. Uh, somebody in the comment section yesterday asked how elephants do sieges, and it's fairly obvious. They're big. Uh, however, I will maybe invest into some mangonels or something. Oh, God, what? Ugh. But the elephants, though. Whatever, we'll save up. Um, I will have to drop a regiment. What we'll do then is we'll drop an elephant regiment. Um, I wanted to keep two going for potential expansion in the future. We'll save up for mangonels, and we'll just expand the other elephant regiment and fully until we disband something else to make more room for more elephants. God's sake. Bloody smallpox everywhere. Um, yeah, whatever. Look at this! Come on! We have access to crusades. Great. Come on, this is absurd. Are we good? Oh yeah, here we go. Right, we've got a we've got a rebellion on our hands here. Let's get let's get the troops up. Um, we had to pay for a court physician, so I can't bloody afford mangonels now, which is quite nice. Here we are, rally the troops. How many have they got? More than us. What the fuck? Why is our army so garbage now? <laughs> How has this happened? Right, okay. Let's take this. Um. Oh no, we we're, we're dead. We're doomed. We're fucked. We can't win that. Um, what, what do they, what do they get? If we surrender. Autonomous vassals. Uh, I think that's an acceptable. I think that's acceptable. We're not going to win this, I think. We could give it a go. Um, you'll probably win. We'll see about that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna at least try and fight. We're not just gonna give up. But if we do lose, it's an acceptable loss, in my honest opinion. Um, on the plus side, if we win as well, one victim died, 21 survived. Wow, for smallpox, that's really impressive. Um, if we win, we can revoke titles. Which will help us build up, obviously, our, our army size a lot more significantly here. Um, I too, GMI champions. Right, please, stop. Stop that. Right, kill him. Kill him dead. I think bring this to my attention. I really don't care right now. We've got bigger fish to fry. Right, go that way. Well, I shouldn't say that, seeing as we are the Seaman Dynasty. We would never fry a fish. Um, no, this is what we don't want. No, 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 no. Stay there, stay there, stay there, die. Okay. 44%. Good lord. What a pain in the ass this has been. It's a good job we weren't there. Their troops weren't able to combine. Otherwise, that would have been a death sentence. We would have been doomed. I don't know that we've got the troops necessary to siege this down, but I'll give it an honest go. Oh, there we go. Done. A. Hey. No longer valid to continue. What do you mean? Oh, because we got in prisoner. I hope that that means that they still count as as villains that I can revoke titles from. Nian, don't say that. Um, go on. What do you want? Conversion? Go on. Get out. Uh, you, I want a title. Revoke title. County of that one. Uh, Act of Tyranny. The man went to war against me. Oh, come on. Um, I suppose it was a faction, so I guess it was illegal. Um, don't know who you are. Negotiate release. Demand conversion. We might as well spread the good word. Go on. Get out. Yep, get out. Be gone. Right. Thorn. Uh, Grand Admiral Thorn, I assume. <sighs> I don't even want this guy. Uh, I mean, he's not a bad... Oh, I was going to say he's not a bad commander, but then he's got two prowess. 16 Marshal, but unfortunately that's about it. Um, just get out. Never, never come back to my court again. Right, so despite the fact that this guy went to war with us, we also can't do anything... We can't revoke his title. 
And that's about it. Brilliant. Okay, well, at least we get some money out of it, I suppose. Probably more, yeah, way more than we than we had to begin with. So actually, they all they did was go to all of this and make us lose a bunch of cash. Nobody won in that situation. No of my what? Usual sexual proclivities. Uh, attempt to teach her her reckless skill. Yes. Um, unusual. I mean, he's heterosexual. Eager reveler, strategist, handsome, robust. What's he been doing? Uh. <laughs> what? I, I know of your unusual... Uh, no, decline. Deviant? What the hell has this man been doing? Okay, how will I ever live with this shame? Oh, come on. Deviant, there we are. Stress loss 25% opinion, opinion of deviant characters plus 35. This is shown by your king, but our religion uh, doesn't matter. We, we don't care about that. So, you know, it's just... You've got to respect our religion here, fella. Oh, now I might... I know, I, I know a lot of people don't like it. Uh, when I do this, but I might meta game this a second so that we can play as Boofer. Um, I'm gonna whip him to death. Uh, in the hopes that we can kill him dead. But anyway, he's got no health bonuses and he's 62. If we can kill him, we can actually play as a decent long term character. Um, someone who is capable of fabricating that climb, getting the hook, whatever we need to take over the kingdom. We, we, we can't be affected by partition. We've got one duchy and one holding. Um, we can't go to war against our brother. Because, again, we don't have a bloody hook. Um, we found out nothing about him yet. Um, modify feudal. Let's go... Uh, sanctioned. Use a hook. Nothing. Can I, can I bribe him? There's nothing else you can do with the contract besides using a hook. Balls. Um, I was hoping we could maybe offer him you know, more tax in exchange for, for that. Oh, good. Here we go. I will not be threatened. Rally the troops. Ah, oh, another massive rebellion. This is my favorite. Right, okay. On the plus side, we've got this powerful martial character. So it's not a big deal. Okay, careful, careful. Uh, the bite and tear. Prove I have learned. Yes, go on. We're getting reckless. Is that good? Do we want <laughs> Do we want reckless? I should have probably checked it before I agreed to this, huh? Right. Let's try and kill off, kill off these troops before they start. There we go. Good, 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 good. Before they start... All conglomerating, otherwise we are super screwed. There we go. Glory is widely known. Look at this man. He's going to deal with the factions. And I mean, if, if that's all we achieve with this guy, I'm happy. Because that's going to prove to be a massive pain in the ass for any other character that isn't pure martial like this guy. And, or, or like an excellent martial too with all these fucking bonuses. Right, okay. Um, so who's actually doing the war? Because I'm not sure we could siege down your provinces. Oh, good. Rally the troops. Here we go again. Right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. Oh, we've got no alliances either, bear in mind, as this guy, because all of his kids were already married off by our previous character. Um, I can't even negotiate alliances, can I? We can call in some... Oh, so we can call these in free, can we? And we can't. We don't have a hook. Um, yeah, I, th I think people said that we can call them in prestige free for defensive wars, um, but I'm not sure if this counts, because it's a... It's, a, it's against other vassals, right? Um, oh, Divine Right is, is done as well. Well, that's incredible. That's, that's a bonus. Right, okay. My sister died. Excellent. That's that war over then. Um, so what war are we part of now? Oh, they're going for the capital. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, God, my capital. That's all right. It's not a real big issue, to be honest. We should be able to stop them with the troops that we've got. We've only got 792. We've got an incredible leader with all the bonuses from the Marshall Tree. Yeah, look, it, it thinks that we're going to get a decisive victory there, and I think we probably will. Excellent. Nice work. Okay. Overwhelmed by stress. Yeah, tell me about it. This has been a fucking juggling act since our father died. We will, I think I put way too much effort into the religion and not enough into the realm building. We did it completely in the wrong order. To be fair, though, we got a cool elephant religion out of it, so I can't really complain. Minus 6%, despite the fact that I've defeated them in every single battle just because they have a few men stood in my castle. That's apparently all it takes. Right. Get out of my land. Die. Where are they getting all these troops from? They are just, they're just flowing out of their capital. Fuck off. Right, let's take our capital, and then we'll go and... Or we'll take back our land, and then we'll go and siege their stuff. Oh, for God's sake! I'm not even sure who we're fighting anymore. <laughs> right, take back our capital. Counter siege that, and then we should be good. We should be in positive war score from then on. They haven't got anything else of ours to siege, because we haven't got anything else bloody left that isn't in rebellion against us. Right, okay. Makes the, makes it really easy, huh? I mean, are we getting reckless? Is reckless good? I suppose it's more military leading. Um, reckless, reckless, reckless. Reckless. 
Reckless. There it is. Oh, it's the gambler one. Okay. Um, to be fair, on average, it's much better, right? Because your minimum goes down by four, but your positive goes down by six. So you're getting plus two on average overall. So there's not a problem with that. Obviously, it could be disastrous when we're kind of gambling anyway with our troops just being slightly better. We could get... To be honest, this may have just opened it up because we were going to win all these battles anyway. Uh, but now there's a chance that we could lose if we get quite unlucky with a roll. So that probably wasn't the best trait to get, but that's all right. We'll manage. For the mighty seaman dynasty, we'll manage. Oh, God, that's a lot of dudes this time. How are we looking on that one? You will probably win. Owner is over 10 years in debt. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, ransom, you out for 50. Uh, call on my allies. We can't. Oh, we can. Yeah, help me. For fuck's sake, get in here. And, and how many troops have you got? 270. Well, that's it. We've fucking won now. Um, help me out here. Call the house member to war. Um, you're, you're already in, but we can call you into the second war as well. Right, right. Okay. Just sit. Sit. Rest on your laurels. Wait for our allies to turn up. Council invitation. Thank you. I appreciate that. A beacon in these dark times. I like that our allies just aren't fighting there. I assume that's a war that they're not allowed to be part of because, again, it's vassals fighting vassals. Wow, this is just fucking chaos, huh? This is just real, pure, full-on chaos. So we're at 42% now the capital is counter siege and plus 37. Um, so if we can grab some of their provinces now, get some counter siege and going just close to home. Oh, God, yeah, I'm not really surprised. Um, Ashish, I guess that's probably the safest one. Okay, here we go. Luckily, I think some of these guys are hostile to one another. Because I don't know if you noticed that. They turned up. They started something and then they left. So I can only assume that the, the other army was hostile to them and they fled kind of preemptively. Should we get this war dealt with? So where are you guys coming from? Where's your capital? Um, right there. No, no, no. That's where he is. Where's your capital? Um, oh, we've got a siege. Okay, fair enough. So we've just got to do some damage about then. Okay, we might be able to capture him in battle. Not quite. Well, let's go and siege that one. We'll try and stick as close to home as possible to prevent this shit going down. Um, I'm going to take this. Then they won't be able to get enough war skill to win from taking our capital unless they get really lucky and kidnap like all of our family members simultaneously. My god, we are getting a lot of martial lifestyle traits, huh? This is insane. Okay. I mean, it, it's all field experience, right? We've won one. Hey, there we go. Okay, that one's dealt with. Enforced demands. Good shit. Right, go back, take the capital. Now we've got a very clear target for our wars. I'm going to avoid embarking if possible because it's hideously expensive. Um, allies, 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 allies. Can we just call in? Call, call in. You can't join the Liberty War because it's against, yeah, whatever. Um, you can ransom prisoners, get some gold back in our in our coffers, but I'm not sure if any of those prisoners are relevant to this war. Let's sit there and just reinforce for a little while, huh? Overwhelmed by stress. Yeah, I mean, I can't do that. I, I can't stop that, friend. Uh, we might as well go groom to rule, give our kids all the bonuses before we die. There we go. You're welcome. G groom to rule. It's okay. He's only 26. Uh, Boofer, 33. Just just sent us some nice uh, GCSE English textbooks there. Here you are. Problem solved. Right. Let's trick you on there. Let's trick you on, on there. Spymaster, help me out here, brother. Um, 628 versus 1,000. It, we are... Potentially going to lose that. Let's see if we can clear out some of this debt then. I think I'm going to ransom now. It doesn't matter if they're relevant to the war or not. Um, are, are, are we at war? We're not at war with this guy. So we can ransom him out. No question. You, Sea Turtle, not at war. Get rid of him. No, no problem. You, not part of the war. Get rid of him. Minus 61 now. Okay. That's definitely helped out things quite significantly. Um, so let's get rid of you, you, you. That's fine. Yeah, you're not at war with us. Um, can't quite yet. I'm hoping this alone will make it so that this war becomes, or this battle becomes viable. Um, when all the debt, you know what, I'm just gonna ransom everybody. What choice do we have, really? There we go. Come on, minus 26. Okay, uh, ransom out the last ones. I saw, obviously, going to the same people. Um, that's as far as we can go, huh? Okay, we'll try it again now. See if the debt alone has had enough of an impact on this battle. It has. There we are. Owner is one year in debt. The chances are even. I think we've got to go for it. We could hang around for a little bit longer, wait for their siege to finish, but I don't know if it'll be enough to give them the victory. Bear in mind, we haven't got much in the way of land anyway. I'd rather not risk it. So I think we're going to go in. Good luck. Lucky rolls. Oh, there we go. That's what we're after. Man, if we can't siege the capital now, my wife, Duchess Swang, has died, and he's really happy about that. If we take back the capital now, we may be good. We might be okay here. Minus oh, 84 plus 65. 
Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Um, invite champions. We can't afford them anyway, so I'm, I'm not going to bother doing that one. Um, we've got another available perk. Enduring hardships. Enemy occupations do not lower control on four level plus one. We need to go for that, don't we? I think, I think that's absolutely essential. Um, we've got to get rid of some of this stress. We have to. We can't flagellate. When can we flagellate next? Because we're commanding an army. Oh. Okay, drop the army temporarily. I know it will take however many months to bring them back here. Um, we need to do this so that our guy can kick around for a bit longer. Now, I know I wanted to try and kill him off early. I still kind of do, or as soon as possible, so we can play as Bufa, so we're not in a situation like this. We get years to build up, rather than going, playing as an 80-year-old, dying, playing as a 60-year-old, dying again, constantly changing hands and constantly getting these bloody rebellions. Um, right, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can call you in, we can't call you in. Please don't tell me I can call him in if I can't call him in. Can't afford that, can't do it, don't tell me about it. Too few spouses, give me that. Right, done. Problem solved. Powerful vassals expect... Can't, well, they can fuck off. Um, fourth in line to inherit. Don't care. Can't invite champions anyway. Don't bother telling me. Can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about that. Can't do anything about that. Good. So the notification's absolutely useless. Raise the troops. Killer whale. Um, a, a new son called Killer whale. Uh, my man is practically mummified. He's 70 years of age. He's a flagellant. He, he's, he's hashishing himself. And he's a deviant. This, this man it would be dead as dicks. We are the Ozzy Osbourne of the of the Seaman world, <laughs> which is never a sentence I thought I'd fucking say. Um, we could try and grab this one quickly while they're distracted pissing around up there, and then when they start going for our capital again, we fucking run all the way back again. We just need to bait them out, don't we? We just need to keep bloody baiting them out at this point. There we go, and then move out of the capital again. Wait for them to come back. Move back into the capital again, etc., etc. I'm not reading these pop-ups. It's too many, and we've got too much to focus on right now. Okay, let's start heading back this way. Try and encourage them to move. They're going to embark again. We're going to turn back around. Bloody hell! This—it's going to be a lot of ping-ponging around, but we'll be fine. Um, got obligations. Demand payment for hooks. Yes, please. That might be enough to get us out of debt, depending on what we know. We know about your lover, please. I just want some dollar reduce. She's got no money. <sighs> okay. Good work. 78%. Right, I'm going to be here for another 40 years. So I'm probably just going to skip over this. I'll be honest with you. I think we've actually killed all their troops now. So I think we can I think we can siege. Sod this. I'm going to have some hashish. <laughs> I bought this up before, but I feel like sod this is not... I, that doesn't seem very... Uh, you know, what year are we in now? It doesn't seem very 12th century... Um, Burman to me, but maybe I'm maybe I'm incorrect. Burmese. Uh Dangerous Factions. Tell me something I don't fucking know. Oh, we've won. Thank God for that, because of his martial trait, obviously giving him lower war acceptance. Well, oh, that was just about the worst thing I've ever done. Um how was our realm falling apart so much? Clan the second. <sighs> this sucks. Oh, we're gonna die. We're at death's doorstep. He's actually dying. Um, hold on, hold on. There's got to be something we can do with you before you actually drop down dead. Ransom him out. Go on, get out. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're screwed again because now we're about to have another succession. We've got to do all that again. But now our next character isn't a martial expert and we're in debt. Here we go. Yeah, brilliant. We're, we're, in, we're in terrible, terrible times. Terrible, bad, awful times. Please kill these troops. Uh, let's see if we can tidy this up before he dies. Come on, you can do it. Brother, live. I don't care about the daughter. Vati, I'm going to call you Seal. There, get out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. Right. If that's the last thing he achieves with his life, I'm happy with that. That's fantastic. Burmese dress, Burmese habits in a capital filled with Burmese. Not surprised my wife no longer considers herself Mon, but Burmese instead. Mon is just uh, part of the Burman group. Um, we should all be moving along with the times. So we could flip over. We wouldn't. I, I want to remain Mon culture. Because it allows us to be the cultural head. So I would rather not. It's a bad idea to leave our old traditions behind. Yeah, I think that's the right play. Un until we've at least taken out the, the kingdom here. I mean, this is just exceptionally bad. Our taxes are 0.1 gold per month. <laughs> ah, we are... I mean, we are 1,419 months in debt. Uh... Which is many years. I can't do the numbers off the top of my head, but I believe it's more than a year. Uh, so we could be here for quite some fucking time. Um, we obviously can't declare wars because of Crown Authority. And this guy is not really the intrigue expert we need to be bringing down the kingdom. 
if we could get one hook, we could reunite our lands and then have them partition out again, ready for succession. So we're back to square one. If we don't have this guy pressing it, our daughter is not going to get the claim. She's only got the Seaman Duchy and the County of Alliance is what didn't sunk. I.e., we're going to lose all of the land that we spent fabricating claims on and conquering as our first character. I don't think there's anything I can do to stop it at this stage. Um, you know, I've got him working on the, the Intrigue lifestyle. So we can see if we can eventually fabricate. I mean, we'll try and fabricate a scheme. It's uh, Or a hook, sorry. Probably not going to happen. 65%. We'll give it a go. It's, it's not an insignificant chance. We died. Never mind. It is an insignificant chance. I lied to you. Okay, here we are, Duchess Bufa. Now, Bufa has a lot of things going for her. She's genius. She's pretty. She's robust. She's 39. She's going to live, hopefully, for quite some time. She's also a novice physician. Gives her a small health boost to uh, whatever, but she's also got robust as well. Her kids. We've got Champe, which I'll rename. Beautiful, robust. We've got our other daughter. Pretty, hale, quick. We've got a son. Beautiful, intelligent, robust. And we've got our final daughter, Hail, quick, and beautiful. If anybody, we want to play as Adara, I think. Beautiful, intelligent, robust. Step down from our current character, and we're losing plus two to all of our stats and 10% the, and the, and of our monthly lifestyle experience. But other than that, it, it's a fine. Oh, no, he's actually beautiful. So we know in some ways he is an upgrade. Um, more diplomacy, less everything else overall. Yikes, that was, a, that was uh, an episode. I, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, it's my first episode I'm recording today. So immediately getting out of bed and having to deal with... 16 rebellions wasn't really what i expected <laughs> thank you all for watching let's go ahead and leave it there for today i think Bufa is a great fresh start to kick things off tomorrow we knew at the end of yesterday that you know things were going to be a bit tricky today um based on our guy you know being close to dying this guy inheriting as a 62 year old sucked but now we've got someone who's younger Hey, fingers crossed it's the, it's the right way forward. Thank you to Silent, Sentinel, Pang Power, Draconade, Chex, Justin Rules. Here we go again. 46, Zurich Thurum 3, Ushanka, Namo, Milo Cthulhu, Fredamabob, Nostris, Moon Cult Leader, and Poop Feast 420 for their support at the Executive Producer Tears over on Coffee. For those of you over on Coffee and over on Patreon, please go ahead and read the new post I put up there. Um, there's a video accompanying it. It is a seven page post on some changes that are going to be fairly significant coming soon. Very much appreciate if you read through it. Um, it, it is important important uh and affects everybody on coffee uh so you know it is it is worth taking a look at there is a i don't want to scale up there there's there is a brief summary as well um you don't have to read the whole thing but i th I, I tried to consider everything um when i made the post so take a look at that thank you as well to hoofenspiel marcus absent extra small shlomo bizarro jesus rovery but i'm homeless for Tevin, riley m bordoon jumping jack paracosm master 2000 and all the rest of you as well for your support and keeping the channel going again. Go check that out. Um, I've, I've added it out in Discord today. Uh, well, technically last night. Um, and, and I'm going to be taking feedback from Discord over the course of today as well. So let me know what you think.